Walmart has so many new craft supplies. So in today's video, we are gonna be doing Christmas in July with Walmart blanks. I would also like to thank Ritual for sponsoring today's video. If that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. Recently at Walmart, they just put all of their blanks on sale, and now I know why, because they brought in a ton of new ones. We're gonna start off with this huge mason jar wood cutout. It's super thick, and it was only $9.97. So I'm gonna start by staining the entire thing with my Dixie Belle Voodoo Stain, doing my best to stay away from the little, the little lines at the top. Now, I did cover some of them not on purpose but we're going to fix that here in just a second so once i have it stained and i'm satisfied with the way that it looks i do go ahead and wipe away the excess stain Next, I'm gonna take a tiny brush and some white Waverly chalk paint, and I'm just gonna go over those lines at the top of the jar. Now, that is just the thread on the jar for like the lid or whatever, um, the faux lid and the faux threads. <laughs> but I did want you to be able to see them, so I did go over them with white Waverly chalk paint. Next, I'm gonna take out my Dollar Tree calendars. If you have not seen my haul, I just hauled some new ones. Now, this particular image is from the old calendars, but I did go ahead and take out all of the December ones so I can kind of put them on my sign and see which ones I personally liked. And I did go ahead with the first image that I ripped out. So I take my Farm Fresh Christmas Trees calendar and I'm gonna start by ripping the corner and then ripping along the edges to make it look old and weathered. And you can kind of manipulate the way that it rips just by pulling it in different directions. Once I have the edges the way that I like, then I'm gonna use a purple disappearing glue stick to glue down my image to the middle of this mason jar. I smoothed it out really nicely and once my glue was completely dry, then I'm going to take my mini chip brush and some white Waverly chalk paint once again and I'm going to start by dry brushing all the way around the jar and then I'm also going to dry brush around the sign in the middle just to kind of make it look like it was supposed to be there, I guess. I don't really know. And then I went ahead and dry brushed the entire thing. but. Mainly, I focused on the edges as well as around the image. And as always, if you do not like dry brushing, you can totally skip this step. Next, I'm going to take some burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to create a super simple bow just by putting it in the shape of kind of like a cancer bow. And then I'm going to pinch it in the middle and tie it with some jute. Next, I'm going to glue that down into the left-hand corner. Now, originally, I was going to put this in the middle, but I wasn't too sure, and I thought that it looked really cute on the left side, so that is where I decided to put it. I also cut my ends of my ribbon into a dovetail, and you can choose to put your ribbon wherever you like, if you like it on the bottom, the top, wherever. Um, I am just simply here for inspiration and you can do yours however you like. I then took a red and white buffalo check ribbon. I also made a simple finger bow, made those ends into dovetails as well, and then glued that into the middle of the burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree. Next, I'm going to take some Christmas greenery from Dollar Tree. I had these gorgeous faux snow covered ferns so I cut a few pieces for either side I like to arrange my greenery before I glue it down just so I know that I like the placement I also took some 
greenery uh, or Christmas greenery with some red berries and I took those off of the picks as well put those in between the ferns and then once I was satisfied with the way that it looked then I went ahead and hot glued everything down and I did go ahead and do that to both sides I don't know if I said that <laughs> I don't know if I said that already y'all I'm going crazy these days um, but that was it for this DIY you guys I am absolutely so in love with the way that this turned out it is a really nice size and I cannot wait to hear what you guys think of DIY number one down in the comment section below. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so excited to share today's sponsor with you. So I would like to thank Ritual for sponsoring today's video. So as you guys know, I've been on a crazy health kick ever since we moved into this house and I was pregnant with my son. I've been on a mission to get rid of all the toxins in our house and that is actually what led me to find Ritual. So when I was pregnant with my son, I could not trust any of the prenatal vitamins, which actually I resonated with the founder's story because she actually actually was really nervous about the ingredients in different prenatal vitamins when she was pregnant, which led her to create Ritual. I had heard a lot of reviews saying that these are really easy on your stomach. And when I'm pregnant, my stomach issues are absolutely insane. So I knew that I wanted a vitamin that I could trust and that was going to be really easy on my stomach. And I promise you guys, I never even knew that I took Ritual, which is why I love this product so much. So now that I'm not pregnant, I'm actually taking the Essentials 18 Plus for Women, which actually closes in on the dietary gaps that a lot of us have. And I love the fact that these vitamins come with traceability, meaning that you know exactly where your ingredients in the vitamins are derived from. These vitamins are clinically backed, and I also love the fact that they're filled with key high quality nutrients, like I said, to fill any dietary gaps that anybody may have. So the Essentials Essentials for Women 18 Plus are designed to support foundational health with key nutrients that support brain health, bone health, blood building, and antioxidant support. Plus they're vegan, non-GMO project verified, they're gluten free, and you can literally see the quality of these capsules right through the bottle. They're also major allergen free without any extras and any dyes, which y'all, I'm a total freak about dyes. So lastly, the delayed release capsule are designed to go into your small intestines where nutrients actually absorb into your body a lot better. I also love the fact that these are super easy on your stomach so you can either take them with or without food and if you don't love ritual after 30 days you can return them for a full refund no questions asked. And y'all know I have a deal for you. Ritual is actually offering you guys 30% off of your first month which is huge so take advantage of this deal right now by clicking the link down below or going to www.ritual.com slash allthingscrafty30. Again, I would like to thank Ritual for sponsoring today's video. For DIY number two, this one was actually in the wrong place. I thought it was only 15 bucks, but it ended up being 16.67, I believe. I know it was 16 and some change, um, but this is super heavy. It's actually really good size. It already has the beads on it. It has the wood grain. I personally thought that this was a good deal, um, but let me know down in the comments what you guys think. So I picked it up and originally I was going to use that wreath from the different from one of the new calendars from Dollar Tree. But once I started cutting it out, I just didn't really like the way that it looked in the middle. So of course, I went in my stash, I grabbed my Santa approved transfer. And if you guys did not know, actually today is the new release of all the new holiday collection from Chalk Couture. I will We'll leave the link down below to all the new stuff. I can't wait for you guys to see it. It's absolutely stunning. So if you see anything you like, I would definitely grab it now, you guys, because they will sell out super quick. So anyway, I take my transfer. I lay it down and then obviously I transfer that on with white my candy apple red gold black and pesto is the green 
and I also I forgot to hit record but I did dry brush around the beads some of my antique wax by Waverly as well as some red chalk paint once the transfer was dry once I pulled my transfer up and it was dry first off how stunning is that image I took some greenery from Dollar Tree once again I arranged that at the top glued that down and then took this little deer head from Dollar Tree and glued that down at the top in the middle of the greenery now I felt that this was still missing a little something so I looked around and I found these white I don't know what you want to call it white branches I'm not really sure but I absolutely thought that it was perfect for the bottom of this sign now the pack came with five in them and I don't know if I said this, but I did get these at Dollar Tree. So all I did was just cut the ends and then kind of bent the wire so that it formed to the sign at the bottom, glued two pieces down, and then I took a piece of greenery from my stash and glued that right into the middle. To finish this sign, all I did was create a bow at the bottom, pretty much exactly like we did on the mason jar except this burlap ribbon is from walmart i believe and i just loved the frayed edges for it and then i glued down a buffalo check ribbon into the center i love the way this turned out i wasn't really sure you guys i was nervous that i picked the wrong transfer so i absolutely love the way that it turned out let me know down in the comments what you guys think would you have switched anything up on this sign or do you like it just the way it is Hey friends, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name's Melissa. I would love to have you a part of my crafty family by just clicking that red subscribe button. And then if you would just share this out, if you enjoy this video, I would greatly appreciate it. It really helps my channel to grow. With that being said, let's jump back into today's video. Okay, y'all, I was super excited about this one. It was only $6.77. It is a really good size and it's double-sided, so you could make two projects in one. But for today, I just did one project and I started by staining the frame with my Dixie Belle Voodoo Stain. And I did go ahead and tape off the chalkboard itself. That way I could kind of paint freely without having to worry about it. And then once that was completely dry, then I went ahead and sanded down all of the edges on the inside of the frame as well as the outside of the frame. But once again, if you don't like distressing, then you can skip this step. Next, I'm going to take this Home Believes transfer. This is an older transfer. You're not going to find it on the site, but I did go I did go ahead and cut it apart, and then I'm going to start with the lines at the bottom. So I just put them where I wanted them. I transfer that on with my Candy Apple Red paint, and I get a lot of questions on how to prevent bleeding. So the best way to do that is to make sure that your paste is nice and stirred. You want to squeegee on the paste with even pressure and then when you pull up your transfer you want to make sure that you pull it up very slowly you don't want to pull it up quickly because you can definitely get some bleeding once that was completely dry then I went ahead and transferred on this home believes with this home in gold and believes in white Once again, I peel back my transfer and you guys, this part never gets old. I could do this all day long. It's so satisfying to peel back that transfer and reveal that gorgeous, crisp image. And the fact that it literally takes five seconds, it's so quick and easy, blows my mind every single time. Next, I'm going to transfer on the little ornaments. Now, I kind of wish that I would have done the hanger like the hanging part of the ornament a different color um, you guys can let me know down in the comments if you like the white for the lines or should I have done it a different color but I did transfer on 
obviously the ornaments with red and gold. Once again, I peel back my transfer and you always want to make sure that you wash your transfers right away after use. That way you can get as many uses out of them as you possibly can. So anyway, once I was done transferring on the image and I love the way it looked, I hit it with the blow dryer to make sure it was nice and dry. And then I just made this simple bow with some Walmart ribbon. I just folded it over on itself six times. I tied it in the middle and then I fluffed my bow up and then I glued a pretend tail to the back just with a piece of ribbon folding it into a V and then cutting the ends into a dovetail. Next I'm going to glue down my bow to the right hand corner and then add some Dollar Tree greenery. And that was it for DIY number three. I cannot wait to hear what you guys think. And as always, let me know at the end of the video which DIY in this video was your absolute favorite. The other thing that I wanted to mention is I love chalk paste as well so much because after Christmas, you can always erase this sign and you can put a different image for the upcoming season. Okay friends, for the last and final DIY, I picked up this little wooden plaque from Walmart that was only $5.28, which I thought was a pretty good pretty good price. Oh my goodness. Someday I'll be able to talk y'all. I'm so sorry. Um, but I thought it was a pretty good price because not only is it real wood, but it's already distressed for you. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous and it reminded me of snow. So you can literally do this project with your eyes closed. So what I did was just gathered a few little Christmas little decor pieces, ornaments. This was a shelf sitter and I just arranged them on on this little wood plaque and then glued it down wherever I saw fit. That was it. Super simple, super easy. Literally anybody can do it. So with that being said, that was it for this video, you guys. Let me know down in the comment section which DIY was your favorite. As always, don't forget to share this out for me if you enjoyed it. It really helps my channel. And if nobody has told you today, you are absolutely stunning. You are worthy. You are gorgeous. You can literally do anything you set your mind to. Coming from a heroin addict who is nine years sober, y'all, if I can do it, you can do it as well. I love you so much. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Check out the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload or join the DIY fam here to your right.